Hey guys, so welcome back to Born Beautiful here with Amy. I am so excited to be here again with you guys. Although half of me is like feeling like she's gonna die because it's like 100 degrees in my room and I can't put the air conditioner, I can't put the fan because of the noise. But we shall go on. I will be complaining about this for the rest of the month. <laughs> so as you have seen by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be going over my July favorites. So I'm going to start off this video by talking about tools. And by tools, I mean brushes. And one other thing. So I'm going to start off with this. This is a Sephora color switch. And basically, it's by Veramona. And basically, all you do is you go in this. It looks like, um, I don't know, just something with a lot of pores. Like a sponge, right? Okay, like a hard sponge. And you just dip your brush in there and you swirl it around and you could um, basically color switch. Um, use the same brush to like do purple and then use the same brush to do like a highlight color. It works amazing. I have been using this in my makeup tutorials lately. I know some of them I haven't posted yet but I'm working on them and I just I'm using this on a daily basis and it minimizes the amount of brushes that I have to wash. So I have been loving this baby like crazy. Okay guys, so the first brush that I have here is this Real Technique brush right here. Affordable brush of course, because you know me and my affordability. Affordability? Is that a word? So this is a cheek brush right here. It looks, I don't know, kind of tapered. But chubby, I don't know. Like It's tapered here, but I don't know. It just has like the perfect shape that lets me get on my cheekbones the next brush that i have here is the powder brush and this is also by real techniques and it's just like the most amazing powder brush ever it's nice it's fluffy it's like nice and it has a lot of bristles that i could feel it's like a dense one but it's really fluffy you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying like a thumbs up if you get me <laughs> finally the third brush that i have going on here is the elf i believe this is called the ultimate blending brush ultimate sculpting contour i have no idea what this brush is called i will leave it right here somewhere but look at the shape of this it's so like i don't know it's not it's like a spurst a lot the bristles are really nice and tapered there so you have this nice shape going on like so the perfect kind of width for your contour and like I don't know the tape the design is kind of like a fan brush sort of and the, the bristles are really nice and dense the, the brush is really nicely packed and it's just perfect to get that contour okay guys so the next party that I have here is my benefit brow gel brow cream gel brow and I have this in the shade 4 Look at the packaging, it's so perfect and pretty and beautiful. I love it. I'm 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 not gonna lie, I I was I did it for the packaging, but the product was just as good as the packaging. And so basically you open it here, and that is where your brow gel is, and this is where your little itsy bitsy itsy bitsy brush is. And I actually do like to use this brush. I always do use it when I use this product and I'm gonna be honest, the first time when I went into Ulta and I saw this, I was literally going like this and I'm like, okay, taking it out. I'm like, wait, why is like nothing coming out? Only I would think that this would reach the brow gel here. I don't know why. And then when I went online on YouTube, I realized that you yeah, actually opened this. I was like, oh, hashtag dumbfounded. What else can I say? I love this. Shade 4 is perfect for me. I do have it a little bit just on the edges on the outer half of my eyebrow. And that's what I'm wearing today. And I love it. You could get go from a really natural brow here to a full-on depth like BAM. It was perfect timing guys when I said BAM and the moment that it fell. Perfect Amy. Perfect. Next party that I have is my first glow kit yes and this one is actually the sun dipped glow kit that i was able to get about a month ago and oh my god guys 
Can we talk about these colors? They're just, they're giving me life. <sighs> right now what I have on my cheeks is tourmaline and summer. Just kind of, you know, I think you could tell for yourself that I got that glow going on. I love this palette so much. I'm so happy I wasn't convinced by the first two. Like, it was just like, mm, mm, I like you, I want you, but not really. I could live without you. And then I saw this one and I was like, oh my god, I gotta have you. This is my baby right here. And then I did see the Sweets one come out and the Moonchild palette. And those I just feel like they're not for every day. Not that this is, but I mean, those are just for like crazy, like... You know when you want to go crazy with your makeup and i'm not that type of girl like i like a strong glow but i don't want no pink blue purple stripe on my cheeks so that wasn't doing it for me and the sweets one it's just also i don't know it was too harsh for me personally but this one is my baby and i love it this is moonstone here this is term term termaline this bronze summer how much better can you get? Like, seriously. Let me swatch these. Uh, it's like... It's like heaven, except this pinky swatch, which is horrible. <laughs> but they're just... They're so beautiful. What's not so low, guys? These are precious. My oh, baby. Okay, guys. So, the next two items that I have here are blushes. Yes. I am a blush girl. What am I not? Like, there's nothing I don't like. <laughs> but, oh my god. These two right here, they kind of look similar now that I think about it. Well, look at that anyways. I wish the Milani cover would open fully because it'd be so much like nice. I don't know. This is comfortable than this. Comfortable. Yeah, I mean, kind of like when you look at them like this. They look a little similar. Some are like the same pinky undertones. But this one right here has a little bit more purple. This one right here is the City Color B Matte Blush in Blackberry. And this one right here is the Milani 01 Romantic Rose Blush. Like I said, they both kind of have like those pinky nude undertones. But this one has a more of a purple to it. And yeah, this Blackberry Romantic Rose. I love both of them. Let me try to swatch them. Okay. You could tell I use this a lot. Cause, and yeah, so this one is... Oh, so this is the Milani one. And then here is the City Color. On a touch basis, the Milani one is a little bit... I want to say creamier. And then this one's extremely soft and buttery. Like, the swatch was so much easier for the City Color one, which is right here, in Blackberry. As for me saying that, it also kind of makes you think that this one has a little bit more powder, and it does. This one does have some powder fallout, but I think this blush is like $3, like you can't go wrong with this. And they're beautiful. Look at those colors. I'm wondering if you could even see it. They blend beautifully. Yeah, they just blend beautifully. And right now I'm actually wearing the City Color one in Blackberry on my cheeks. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah, they're really, really pretty and beautiful. And they blend beautifully. They're both really affordable blushes. This one's like $3. This one's like $8, I think. Um, but they're both really affordable drugstore products and I love them. This one, a lot of you might not know where to get this. I actually got these at 5 and below. Okay, so I just remembered I actually meant to start off with the lip products that I, are my favorites this month. But I forgot, oh my gosh, because I wasn't supposed to wear purple throughout the video. That's not the color I had intended for this eye look. So let me tell you what these lip colors are. I have Zero Fight Matte Glam from the Milani Lipsticks. Look at that color. It's so beautiful and purple. It's like such a deep purple. It's the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. I love it so much. But then there's this one. I just got this one. So it's kind of funny that I'm putting it on my July favorites. But it's because this combo, I just know I'm going to be wearing it like crazy. And this one, it's 
November from the new Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop. And let me just apply this and show you what I mean. Because I really don't like the way this looks on my skin tone by itself. But on top of this, just wait. That's kind of how it looks on by itself. I think it's too... I feel like it kind of washes me off. Washes me out. But as you can see, as I am applying it, swiping, it's mixing in with that purple that I have already underneath. And then you want to swirl your lips together. And it just creates the perfect nude pinky tone lipstick for me. In my um, opinion, anyways. Let me just show you because you guys are probably like, you got your crazy, like it probably looks the same. No. Let me show you. This is it by itself. This is the purple by itself. Yeah, I accidentally broke my lipstick today. And I'm going to do another one. But this time I'm going to mix this one in. I'm just going to take my pinky. Okay, perfect. Didn't even struggle with that. And like you tell me, this one is way too kind of white based here. The purple, of course, is like a beautiful purple. And then you get to the combination. Tell me you cannot see the difference. It's much more of a richer color with kind of like a berry undertone to it. It's kind of mauvey, you know. Compared to this like pink that's really nude and white based. and It just doesn't look good on my skin tone, on my, in my opinion anyway. So... You could totally see the three colors that I have there. I feel like this is the perfect combination. I um, I, I already know, like, I use no men be wearing this, like, throughout August. This is, like, I'm in love. The end. Okay, guys, I don't know if you noticed what I was using to look at my lips, but I was using this Buxom palette right here. And I have been head over heels. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today, and I just... I love it and when I, you when you see this you're gonna think I'm crazy and maybe I am but this is my custom made palette let's admire the fact that they're all very shimmery they're all very shimmery actually <laughs> extremely shimmery but I love that about this palette <laughs> I wanted a palette that had shimmer colors that I could use to highlight, to highlight my inner corner, or to make a pop of color on my neutral eye look that I had going on for the day, or just whenever I needed a little pop of color, and that is why I created this palette with just shimmer shadows. Because if you were to look at my collection right now, which I'm working on a makeup collection video coming up soon. You're going to notice I have a lot of neutral matte eyeshadows, but I don't have enough pops of color and that is why I needed this palette in my life. And I got this for myself for my birthday. I actually used a $10 off coupon for this and it's stunning guys. This fever I'll survive I'm all nothing up the crazy Strung out a little bit hazy Hand over heart I'm praying That I'm gonna make it up alive The path's getting cold and you're moving The future that we hold is so unclear But I'm not allowed until you call And I'll put the odds against it Finally guys, the last beauty product that I have going on here is this Milani Moisture Lock 
oil lip oil i believe it's called i can't read any of the lettering because it's all gone all of it so all i can say is that it is shade 03 and i know this is peach because it smells just like peach <sighs> so oh, it smells beautiful artificial peach of course but yeah it looks like this and i love to apply this before i apply liquid lipsticks or any liquid lipstick or any like lipstick in general it just I, I usually put it on like halfway through my makeup because i forget and then by the end i just wipe off any excess which usually there's none i usually just go directly and add my liquid lipstick it absorbs onto your lips really really good and finally you guys the one thing that is not beauty related is this planner it says hello 2017 here and it actually starts with july and oh my god i've already bedazzled it a little it has this like cute thing filled with little sparkles it says travel on here i don't know if you could tell yeah it's really really cute and then here just like your planner and it has like little beautiful pages for every month like this one's the july one it's really long i'm not gonna read it but for example august it says listen to your heart let's see august of next year guys it says beauty begins with the moment you decide to be yourself by coco chanel oh my god that's so cute i never i i, I didn't get that far and that's kind of cute because it's beauty related coco chanel <laughs> And I have started using it and I'm just kind of um, doodling on in it. Yeah, these yeah. are my little thoughts. So um, I've just been loving it and I got it for $9.99 at Marshalls. So be on the lookout for this, guys. I really do love it. This clip, I also put it on, so don't think it comes with it. It doesn't. And I already dented it. <laughs> but yeah, I just like the way it looks there. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it for my monthly favorites. I mean, that's pretty much it really i mean i've only talked about five hundred thousand things in this video i have way too many favorites but it's because i missed my june favorites so i feel like i have a whole pile right here and well without further ado that's it for this video guys if you liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel make sure to click the subscribe button which i will leave here or here or here or everywhere <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'll leave it in one spot. And or if you're like in a mobile device, then go down and click the subscribe button down below. Click the little bell right next to it to get my notifications. Whatever, do that's it. Let me know your comments. What did you love? Do you not like something here? Let me know. I like to hear from you guys, and I like to talk to you. So that's pretty much it. See you in my next video, and go watch one of my previous videos, guys. Go go go. Bye.